Hi all, uh, today we're just uh, showing the, this uh, SmartSafe Launch P03 connecting to a high voltage battery on a Nissan Leaf. Um, this uh, this model P03 and the P01 is a hybrid EV diagnostic tool which are normal as you'd expect on any diagnostic tool, diagnostic functions for hybrid and electric vehicles. But it also has a built in uh, high voltage battery diagnostics. So it can allow you to connect directly onto a battery, whether on the ground or in the vehicle, and do a certain amount of um, diagnosing on the battery. This feature can also be added uh, as an optional extra to other launch-based tools like uh, Tinkcar and Topdon. Um, and this tool then, like we said, it's a hybrid and electric vehicle-based software, but you can upgrade the software in, this, in these tools to add your normal petrol and diesel vehicles also. The P03 has a built-in uh, oscilloscope, uh, category 3 multimeter and an uh, insulation tester. Um, the P01 doesn't have any of that. So yeah, so like I say, you have your normal diagnostic features. So in this car today we have is a 2013 Nissan LEAF. This vehicle actually, the onboard charger had failed on it. and. Um, there's a few other problems with the car and it's a 13 so it's it's not really it's not really worth fixing it's not viable so um we purchased this vehicle to have as well we already have a 13 nissan leaf that we use for our hybrid electric vehicle training so we've got this one also we're going to remove all the parts so we'll have a full car working car and the individual parts to show during the train along with our prius and the plug-in hybrid so anyway today we just said we'd uh, plug into the high voltage battery directly before it's removed remove from the car. Or we could have waited on when the battery is removed from the car and connected this in as well. So basically we have our unit here, we have our VCI here connected to the unit with Bluetooth. Uh, when we're doing this we have to connect the VCI to our um, uh, the 12, 12 volt charger because the VCI is going to have to power up the the BMS inside inside in the battery. So for connecting to the batteries, they're in the sets. There is um, some direct fit cables, but they're mainly for uh, Chinese uh, built Chinese brands at the moment. Probably will be direct fit cables for other or uh, European brands later on, and other other Asian brands that are sold in Europe. But um, other than the direct fit cables, there's a. Uh, if you, if you don't have a direct fit cable, then we have a jumper connections for co connecting directly onto the, to the pins on the, the, the socket on the battery. So in this case today, we, seeing as we're going to be breaking this vehicle anyway, we cut the plug off the car. So this is our, our um, connection point here, the low voltage connection point onto the battery. We cut the plug off the car and we can just connect straight onto connections here instead of trying to go in with pin outs. Uh, we, I just roughly made this up quickly today, so I just need to put uh, tidy it up, make it a bit more secure later on. So our VCI up to our normal OBD cable onto this jumper eight that plugs into the OBD at one end and then it has the uh, connections at the other side. Um, in, uh, on a lot of vehicles, it will have the connection info in the tool. So say for example, we went to this BMW 330e hybrid uh, F-series in here and so it's our normal obd diagnostics that's if you have a, a direct fit connection and this is for going in with with the pin outs the picture here in this case is just a generic picture we have some information here on how to connect and then when we hit enter in this case we have a picture of the socket on the battery and it's showing us the pin outs and how to connect connect to the battery so that's great in this case, or in that case, on that BMW. For this Nissan Leaf, we don't have on the tool yet. So as with as as updates keep coming, I'm sure it'll be added. Um, 
So if we go down to this one, So this quite a new feature on these tools, um, this battery diagnostics or direct battery diagnostics, quite a new feature. <clears throat> so as the updates keep coming over over the next few years, there's more and more brand, uh, information and makes and models going to be added. So if we go into Nissan Leaf, and in, uh, we're going jumper diagnostics, and you can see here there's no data here. So in this case, then we um, just went to Ahadaha, looked it up on Ahadaha. You can see here, this is the connection onto the battery. All these are grounds. We could see these are the can high and low, and these are power supplies. We only needed to connect up these two to, to the power supply. So, um, yeah, so if you don't have the information on the, on the tool, you can find it on the likes of all that, uh, all that, uh, Haynes Pro, OE portals, wherever. It should be easy enough to um, to find it. But like we say, hopefully more and more of this will be added onto the tool. So we just go OK. We're all connected here and ready to go. So we have the grounds on here connected into the this black one, which is the ground, and then the two reds onto the red one here. And then we have our can high and can low connected here. So we go OK. And we're straight into the battery. So we, we're doing this in the car. This could be on the ground also. Or if you went to a, to a breaker's yard to purchase this battery, you could test the battery on the ground there before you take it away just to make sure that it's... Um, that it's, that it's some, you get some idea of, of the condition of the battery. This card on board charger has been gone a long time. The car has been lying up for about a year or so. So as you can see, the condition of this is not great. Um, it's discharged down to a 311 volts. And you can see here on the first screen is shown as the cell, the cell voltages of all the, all the cells. And here is shown as the highest and here is shown as the lowest. And this is the delta, the difference between the highest and the lowest, which is just quite high. So like this, this battery is not, not, not in, in a good order. It's discharged, but also there's a huge deviation. There's too much of a deviation between the, the, the cells. So you could say this is badly out of balance. So showing all the different voltages here. The blue one is the min that we're looking at here. The red one is the max that we're looking at here. So by doing this before you fit the battery or before you buy the battery, it gives you a good in you can have a good indication of how, how good the battery is. Um, uh, if we go here, we can get some more information. The total voltage again is shown as the maximum and minimum and a few other bits and pieces. Here is shown as the voltages again. And here we have the temperature. So that's what's available on this particular car, but in uh, depending on the, the make and model, you might have more more information. Um, so that's about it. Um, I hope this is beneficial, and we hope to do some more videos on this hybrid and electric vehicle battery diagnostics as as time goes by. Thank you. Bye bye.